Nibiru shock claim, SpaceX to launch secret planet X probe tonight, code names Yuma. A Nibiru research probe will make its way into space on board SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, it has been spectacularly claimed. The brainchild of South African genius billionaire Elon Musk, will launch a secret payload code named Zuma, into orbit tomorrow. The details of the operation have been kept under wraps triggering conspiracy theorists to speculate what is on board the Falcon 9 rocket. The Falcon 9 launch will take place on Wednesday, November 15, in an 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. EST time window from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. But an article published on SummyOwnsBones.com alleges that an anonymous SpaceX insider knows the truth behind the top-secret launch. The questionable source claims that Mr. Musk is part of a global cabal of elitists who have been granted covered knowledge of the impeding Nibiru cataclysm. The government promised him life after Nibiru if he got on board with their program and promised to keep it all hush-hush. That's why all the payloads are classified. They deal with scientific instruments created to better gauge Nibiru's timeline and the effects that will imperil our planet once it crosses. The Nibiru Cataclysm, also known as the Planet X or Wormwood Theory, is an doomsday prediction about a rogue planetary system barreling towards Earth. The U.S. government assigned Northrop Grumman the responsibility of acquiring launch services for this mission. Planetx will supposedly wipe out millions of people on Earth, when its passing will trigger volcanoes, mass earthquakes and shift the poles to the equator. But the bizarre article claims that SpaceX and NASA are working together to study Nibiru's approach in advance, by delivering crucial research instrumentation into space. The source allegedly said, this launch will carry a deep space thermal imaging satellite into orbit. Elon has met with high-ranking military and civilian officials several times during the last two months. There's a reason the government is enlisting public help, for money and secrecy. Sightings of the disastrous Nibiru Cataclysm Friday, November 10, 2017 The Nibiru Cataclysm is a supposed disastrous encounter between the Earth and a large planetary object. Play in January 2002, a dull star in an obscure constellation suddenly became 600,000 times more luminous than our Sun, NASA. NASA 1 of 10. In January 2002, a dull star in an obscure constellation suddenly became 600,000 times more luminous than our Sun, NASA. In January 2002, a dull star in an obscure constellation suddenly became 600,000 times more luminous than our sun. Do you know why Obama killed the shuttle program? Because too many questions were being asked about what exactly those orbiters were doing up there. By relying on people like Elon, the government can largely absolve itself of culpability. But the reality of what will happen tomorrow, is far from the outrageous allegations presented in the article. In fact, defense contractor Northrop Grumman confirmed to Express.co.uk that the Falcon 9 will deliver its Zuma payload on behalf of the U.S. government. Len Rains, communications director at Northrop Grumman's Space Systems Division, said, Northrop Grumman is proud to be a part of the Zuma launch. This event represents a cost-effective approach to space access for government missions. As a company, Northrop Grumman realizes that this is monumental responsibility and have taken great care to ensure the most affordable and lowest risk scenario for Zuma. Their Zuma payload is a restricted payload. It will be launched into low Earth orbit. Another crucial factor debunking the article's theory, is the fact that Nibiru simply does not exist. The Nibiru Cataclysm is a popular internet hoax popularized in the late 1990s by UFO True the Nancy leader. Jonathan McDowell, an astronomer at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, ridiculed the idea of the rogue system. He told Express.co.uk, I don't know what to say except that it's nonsense. Meanwhile NASA's leading scientist Dr. David Morrison, said, 
There is no credible evidence whatever for the existence of Nibiru. There are no pictures, no tracking, no astronomical observations. I can quite specifically say how we know planet X or Nibiru does not exist and does not threaten the Earth. Firstly, if there was a planet headed into the inner solar system that was going to come close to the Earth, it would already be inside the orbit of Mars, it would be bright, it would be easily visible to the naked eye, if it was up there it would be easy to see it, all of us could see it, 